My sermon for today is based on Ezekiel 37 from verses 1 to 14. I try pretty hard not to repeat myself from sermon to sermon, but today I'm going to repeat myself, at least to some degree. How fortunate we were to have Psalm 23 as our appointed psalm. It was exactly what we needed to hear. We needed to be reminded that the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not be in want. We needed to be reassured that all shall be well. Last week we stood in the valley of the shadow of death. This week we stand in the valley of dry bones. They're not two different valleys. Both are the valley of COVID-19. How fortunate are we that today the valley of dry bones is one of our assigned scripture readings. It's exactly what we, our country and our world need to hear. The Valley of Dry Bones is a story of hope. It's a story of promise. It's a story about a people who have a future, if all shall be well. Is the theme that runs through Psalm 23, then you shall live, is the theme that runs through the Valley of Dry Bones. Mortal. Can these bones live? The Lord asks Ezekiel. I suspect it's a question most of us are wondering about. Can we recover from this? And if so, when and how will that happen? What will our future look like? Ezekiel responded, but he doesn't answer the question. He says, O Lord God, only you know. So appreciate the honest I so appreciated the honesty of what Ezekiel says. I hear his uncertainty. I sense his feeling of hopelessness. I sense his feeling of powerlessness. I picture him looking around and shaking his head and at the overwhelming enormity of it all. God only knows if these bones can live again. That's how I feel every time I read the newest number of cases, the deaths, job losses, and financial hardships. And I'm guessing you might feel the same way. Today we are all Ezekiel's. I know how easy it is to focus on and despair over the number of dry bones. But I also know that is not the final story of God and God's people. So I want to give you some other numbers to focus on. 10 and 3. They're sacred numbers. These numbers on which you can bet your life and future on. And would be a great bet. Ten times God promises to do something about the dry bones, even to the point of repeating God's self. I will cause I will cause breath to enter you. I will lay sinews on you. I will cause flesh to come upon you. I will cover you with skin. I will put breath in you. I'm going to open your graves. I'm going to bring you up from your graves. I will bring you back to your land. I will put my spirit within you and I will place you on your own soil. Ten times God promises life and wholeness. Ten times God promises return and homecoming. Ten times God promises that the dry bones of this valley 
are not our final reality. Throughout those 10 promises, at the beginning, the middle and the end, God says, and you shall live. You shall live is the river of reassurance that flows through the valley, valley of dry bones. God says it three times, and you shall live, and you shall live, and you shall live. Those promises and reassurances are the path we walk in this valley. So the next time you read the numbers in the news, the next time you get scared, the next time you feel anxious and overwhelmed, remember those numbers, 10 and 3. Remember God's promises. Remember God's reassurances. And then listen for the rattle, the rattling of bones coming together, bone to bone. That rattling sounds like faith, hope, and love. It sounds like courage and a refusal to be ruled by fear. It sounds like people praying, Psalm 23. It sounds like church bells ringing in remembrance. It sounds like helping those who have lost jobs or work hours. It sounds like patience, gentleness, and compassion for others and ourselves. It sounds like support and care for health care providers, first responders, and essential workers. It sounds like people asking, are you okay? Do you need anything? It sounds like people smiling and laughing as they connect on Zoom. It sounds like a text message saying, all shall be well. It sounds like an openness to the future. It sounds like life and life abundant. So let's rattle this valley. Let's rattle this valley like it's never been rattled before. They have taken away our church. They've taken away so many things from us. But God says, and you shall live. Because only he knows what will happen next. And because we need to trust God. We need to trust him with what will be coming tomorrow. What will be coming in the near future. The dry bones in our church is people losing faith and losing hope. But I want to remind you, brothers and sisters, God says, and you shall live. Keep that in mind. We have to keep this in mind and we have to have faith and we have to have hope that only God knows. But being children of Christ, we have to believe in him. I ask this in God's mighty, mighty name. Amen. When peace like a river attendeth my way When sorrows like sea billows roll Whatever my life thou hast taught me to say It is well
in difficult times. God of heaven's armies, my Father, you are near me. Even in the valley overshadowed with a threatening specter of death, you are beside me giving me every breath. In this season of strife and shadow, I need your power. Father, strengthen me by your spirit. Grant me the fortune to withstand the slings of the enemy. I ask this in the name of your Son who when he was facing the cross did not falter in his resolve. Amen. <laughs> 